Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm going to be showing you my Sephora VIB sale items. Um, I did go in store and also did an online order. So you're thinking, well, I thought you were on a no buy. Yes, but I did say at the beginning of my no buy that during the Sephora sale, I would allow myself to make purchases. So that I did. So let's get started and remember no judgment. I got stuff that I wanted. Um, I think one thing is a replenishment. So anyway, it, it is what it is. I got it. I bought it. Let's roll with it. So my replenishment item that I got that I ordered offline is this right here and it's a brush cleaner from Cinema Secrets and I like to get the big bottle of it because it's a better value. I use this every single day to spot clean my brushes and I have like this much left in my existing bottle now that I bought last year. So it, it lasts a very long time, I think a, a whole year almost. So um, when I went in store, I did get the cute little bag. So as you can see, the little tote bag that they gave out this year, it's a little bit different. Um, it's like a messenger style bag. So I don't, I don't know too much about that. I know when I opened it up, it stunk so bad. Ooh, it was a horrible smell, but it, it's been out and open now and it doesn't smell like that. So I would definitely be able to use that. So let's dig into this bag and see what I got. Oh boy. Um, I did get some eye mask. These are the Bosha Saki Brightening Hydrogel Eye Mask. Um, this is a box of three pair. I've already used a pair. Um, I wasn't that blown away by them to be honest with you. Um, they had a tendency not to want to stay up underneath the eye so I probably wouldn't repurchase those, but I did get those. I also got that I ordered some of the Sephora brand um, eye mask. This is the Instant Hydro Gel Eye Mask for deep puffing and moisturizing. These were on the sale page, and I ordered four of these to try. Also for the eyes, I while I was in store, I got the Dr. Brandt Glow invigorating retinal eye cream um, here's the box I can't show you the container because it's actually in my bathroom now I've been using it for three or four days now and I really do like it it just takes a little bit and it is a retinal product so I was looking for another retinol that I could put up underneath the eye so I seen that I thought well we'll give it a try I can't tell you if it's doing anything yet because it's too soon for that type of product but um, anyway I also did get a um, primer a new primer and this is from the first day beauty um, skincare line it's the coconut skin smoothing priming moisturizer um, looks like that's the box and let me reach over there and get it because here's what the tube looks like and I'll do a little swatch of it it is very glowy so if you don't like something that's going to make your skin very luminous you're not going to like this but it smells really good though very good but um it's got like a cream color to it but once you spread it all over the face it it doesn't leave a tint i guess is what i'm saying but here it is right there you can see how glowy and shiny it is i'm not really for sure about it helping with the longevity of the makeup. I've only used it a few times because there's a couple other um, primers that I'm trying out right now, but I did get that. Um, this is the other primer that I got, and this is from Urban Decay. It's the Optical Illusion Complexion Primer right here, and it is smoothing. It's supposed to have rose hip and argan oil and pore perfecting. I will tell you, let me see if I can find that. Everything's out of the box because I've been using stuff because I kind of wanted to tell you a little bit about it too. Um, here's what the container looks like. And um, I don't like it. Um, for one thing, 
Well, okay, it's supposed to be a primer, so you're supposed to put it on under makeup, right? But after you start to kind of put it, place it onto your face and start moving it around, it starts rolling up in balls. And then when you start putting your foundation on top of it, it starts rolling up, balling up. So I don't like it for that reason. Um, and it's really too bad because if it didn't move around, it would be a really, really pretty primer and I would really like it. It's just, it just moves around and it doesn't matter what kind of skincare I put on underneath it. It just, it starts moving around. So I'm going to work with it a little bit more, um, but I'm, I'm just not that impressed with it. So I would pass on that. Um, okay. Also from Urban Decay, I got a Naked Skin Concealer in the color Fair. Um, I have, I'm down to the nitty gritty on my concealers. I'm pretty much down to the ones that I really don't like. So I wanted to replace this one or repurchase this one. I've, I've had it before and I liked it. And so that is that there. So, whew. I don't remember it smelling like that. It smells almost like, um, almost like glue. Oh, then I got this item from Too Faced and I'm showing you everything upside down. <laughs> this is the Sweet Peach um, Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss in the color Peach Teas. I'm gonna go get my glasses. So I'm gonna show you this and then I'm gonna take a break and go get my glasses because I see another box in here of an item that I have forgotten. So anyway, this is really pretty and it feels really good on. I was kind of hesitant to get anything with the lip oil, but I had a little sample of one from YSL that I've been really, really enjoying. So I thought I would give this a try as far as comparing it to the YSL and it's really pretty. This is, was one of the darker colors. Let's see, there it is right there. So pretty and it smells smells really good and it goes on really nice it feels good and it's a beautiful color on especially for going into summer it's gonna look really really pretty so i'm glad i got that so i'm gonna go get my glasses and get that other product. okay the next time i'm gonna talk about is for mark jacobs this was a limited edition item that i did order before the sale and i'm glad i did because it did sell out before the sale started and um, it is just a little travel set of four of his glosses and the colors are French Tickler, Hey You, Pink Flamingo, and Allow Me. And the color that I've been wearing the most is the one that's called um, Hey You, I think. Is that what it was? Yes, Hey You. And it's just really, really pretty. So I don't know if these colors are sold individually in the line where you could get like the full size of it. But if you can get this one in Hey You, it's a very, very pretty coral, um, almost like a red coral lip gloss. And it's a very, very nice formula. I'm very impressed with the formula. And I wanted to get this little sampler to try the formula. And I do like it very much. And um, the only one I wasn't too keen on was this one here. It's just too light, but I could put it over a, um, a lip liner and we'll be okay with that. So I did get to that. Oh boy, I have a lot of stuff. Um, this guy here, this was on the clearance page and it was from the Sephora collection. And it is called the... Um, the Gel Gloss Ultra Brilliant or Ultra Shine Lip Gel in the color Sundress. And online, it looked like it was gonna be a really, really pretty coral red like that Marc Jacobs, but it is so, there's hardly any pigment to this at all. It's almost just like a clear, a clear gloss and I don't really care for it at all. And it looked like the tube itself was partially empty. So, I mean, it was all sealed and everything, but um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't get those anyway. So, kind of a, a letdown and disappointment on that. I did get a Clinique um, Cheek Pop. Now, I did not get this off of Sephora. Um, Clinique 
was doing a couple of days where they were doing 50% off certain items and this was one of the items that was 50% off so I ordered it off at Clinique the, and it's the Pink Honey, Pink Honey Pop and this is a gorgeous blush I don't know why I don't know if they're if this was just like a limited edition and they're discontinuing it or what the deal is but if you can find this I would most certainly pick this up. Matter of fact, this past weekend we were in Branson and I went to the CCO and they were doing 50% off the entire store and they had this. So if you're at a CCO, which is a company cosmetic outlet store, you might be able to find that one, but look how pretty that is. So pretty. So I did get that off of Clinique. Oh boy. Another product from Sephora that I got is from Buxom and this is the lip polish the full-on lip polish in the color Natalie and this is what it looks like here again a very pretty coral red color and the color is really good the formula is good this is a little bit more on the pink side Let's see if I can get you a good swatch of it but that is, um, can you see that one right there? That right there. So I got that from Buxom. As you can see, I am into the lip glosses for some reason this year. I used to cannot stand lip glosses and now all of a sudden that's all I want to do is lip glosses. Another product from Urban Decay and this is the Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in Pink. And also the, uh, the Urban Decay products, I did order off of the Urban Decay website because I do get a pro discount. So um, I got more than 15% off of these items. But I thought if I'm breaking my no buy, there were things I was gonna buy off the Sephora website, but if I can get them cheaper going the other route, I'm obviously going to do that. And I've not tried this. This is something new that they've come out with and that is there it's just a corrector for under the eye um so we'll see how i like that in comparison to that giorgio armani one that i'm using that one's just a little bit too peach for me so cut that let's see let me pull these out all right now another um website or brand that i get a discount on is Stila and so I ordered some products off of that website as opposed to Sephora because I would get a better discount. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is from Stila and this is the um, Magnificent Metals eyeshadows that when they first came out I think everybody was talking about them and I thought no I don't need those I don't like glitter and blah 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 but then I swatched them at Ulta and kind of fell in love with them so I ordered these off of the steel website like I said because I do get a, a discount off of those on that website so I got um, Kitten Karma Ballet Baby and Rose Gold Retro. Those are the three colors that I got. And I'll swatch them for you. But they're really, really, really pretty. Um, I do recommend that you do your eyeshadow first with these and then do your face makeup because they do have a tendency to have a little bit of glitter fallout on the face if you don't. So just a But there's the colors there just really really pretty and they looked really pretty on i was kind of hesitant because of my aging eyes but i thought they were pretty and glad i have them okay also from sephora i got a product from tom ford and this is from his summer collection in the color paradise paradise lust which is a sheer cheek duo and oh, if I can get it open, I always have a hard time getting his open. But anyway, I liked it because it had this really pretty coral blush, which I just love a coral blush, especially in the summertime. And then this color here that can be used as a um, 
blush topper or as a highlight. So it's very multiple use and which it should be for the price that it is, but it's right there. Just really, really pretty. So I did get that. I also did get another blush from Benefit and I got this. So pretty. This is the um, California um, box blush. Um, they had it in a little boxed uh, a blush a kit, but I already had dandelion and I already have rockateur, and then it came with the hula, the light hula, and then this. So I just decided to just get the blush itself and I did not get this off of Sephora I got this off of Macy's because I had a Macy's credit and so I just used that credit to get this um, it does have a sun design on here that's gold but that's just an overspray it comes completely off which is unfortunately but it is a beautiful coral blush for summer. I'll put it right next to that Tom Ford so you can kind of see the difference. This is the um, this is the California. They're pretty similar in tone. I just think the Tom Ford's a little bit darker. So anyway, I did get that. Okay. Oh boy. Now we got some more. We got some more stuff. Got some more stuff. Okay. Back during. February, I guess it was, Muse Beauty had sent out this email saying that Vizzy Art was going to be coming out with some new eyeshadows and some new blushes, um, little compacts, and you could pre-order. And if you pre-ordered, then you got to pick two, two of your choice for $75, and these are $45 a piece, plus you got a free um, eyeshadow brush with it. So, I did the pre-order for that, and they were supposed to have shipped out in the end of March, I think it was. Anyway, they didn't get to ship out for whatever reason, so as a, an apology, they included this other little palette for free. So, I got all of this from Muse Beauty for $75. The rose gold colors just beautiful oh, it's so pretty now all of these colors are like a a satin finish but they are so pretty and the Viseart eyeshadows I think just really are beautiful anyway and I hadn't gotten any of the little theory palettes and I wanted to so I got them during that promotion because I thought it was a really good deal and it turned out to be even a better deal because it came in late and got a free product with it. I'm trying to dry my hand off so I can swatch these for you. Some of these shadows are just so pretty. But there's some of the shadows right there. Beautiful. Anyway, so then I picked that one and then I picked this um, the blush palette that they came out with. And this is called the Theory Highlighter Blush and Bronzer in a Blaze. So, and this is the one that I picked to go with that palette, the eyeshadow palette. And again, a beautiful coral blush. I just really like coral blushes. And then of course it has a little bronzer, which is right there. I don't know if you can see the swatches that well or not, but um, we'll try and swatch them there. there they are just so beautiful and just so easy to work with and plus these little trays are just magnetized in here and they they just pop out really easy and you can put them in a big Z palette if you wanted to and then have them all together so since it didn't come in on time they included for free this little palette here which is the to get these glasses back on um, the petite pro palette and this retails for $30. So this was just a free little gift that was included in that. Just because they shipped out, um, gosh, I think it was only like two weeks later than what they had said. So I thought that was really nice that they included that um, since it was going to be late. 
because you know they didn't have to they could have just said oh here's a 10% off code or something like that you know so that was nice of them to do that so since when I got those in since I liked them so much I went ahead and got the other two that just came out that went with that collection and I, I really wished I would have um, pre-ordered them at the beginning of the year when they first came out through Muse Beauty in February with the other ones but I didn't but this is the theory powder palette amethyst the amethyst eyeshadow which is really pretty too the little purples there and then the blush palette that goes with it or I think it goes with it is this one here and this one is called I should just leave these glasses on huh um enamored the theory highlighter blush and bronzer in enamored and it's just really pretty too i should have swatched those shadows now these i did get from um sephora so these are available at sephora it just wasn't as good of a deal as what i got it from use beauty but there you go really pretty Okay, we're almost done with the Sephora sale, which was a lot. Okay, I found this on the Sephora webpage. This is, I ordered online, and this is the Sweet or Secret Escape Kit from Wonder Beauty. I have not tried anything from Wonder Beauty. I've seen this kit, but that would be a good time to try. And it had this really pretty eyeshadow right here. It's kind of like a gold. Oh, it's so pretty. I have to keep looking over there because my camera for some reason quit recording on me like three different times already so but look at that in that stunning oh it's so pretty so I had that in there and then it has this spray this face spray that has um, glacier water um, evening primrose oil and something else that I can't make out oh, okay I guess you got to shake it because it looks like it's a bio face product what oh okay there we go oh look at this spray look how it sprays out oh it doesn't say shook up very good let's see what that out oh definitely smells like roses it smells good I don't know about that that mist was a little thick it felt like and then it had this little um, lip balm thing in it lip balm thing yeah let me put my glasses on I'll tell you what it is it's a beach balm and sangria sangria and that a drink is that a drink I think it is but anyway it's really pretty I had it on earlier today and it's just a little balm um, doesn't put a whole lot of color on the lip but I, it's not intended to so so I got those products from Wonder Beauty we'll be giving them a try but so far I was really impressed with this little eyeshadow over right here so. okay and then I got a little duo kit from Algenis it's the drop and glow illuminating luminizing duo and it looks like that there this was $22, which it's not the the full sizes. It's just like little uh, smaller sizes, but I'm not ever going to even go through these. So I wanted to give them a try. So this one's a little bit of the gold color right there. It's really pretty. And then this other one's a little bit more on the pink side. It almost looks a little bit purpley. Ooh, am I going to put that up? After this, I only have two more things to show you, and then we'll be done. So hang in there. Ooh, that one's really pretty. That one's right there. Can you see that? You're probably not going to be able to see that. Ooh. Anyway, that one's really pretty. So that one is called, let's see if there's a name on here. Um, Rose. No wonder I like it. Rose. The other one is called champagne so I liked the rose one the best yeah that was really pretty okay so then I did get a couple things from NARS 
and I did order these off of the NARS website um, because once again I get a discount off of that site so you know I'm just gonna save more money than the 15% but these are definitely things that are at Sephora and this is their spring summer collection I don't know what it's called but this is the blush in bumpy ride again oh my lights are washing it out it's a little bit darker than that it's a very light guess what coral color <laughs> coral pink I uh, wish my lights weren't washing it out as bad as what it is but it's really pretty on so but it's right there can you see it oh if I can get my light get my hand just right maybe you can see it right there maybe and then um, the highlighter or blush topper that goes that kind of came out with it is called hot sand and I did get that and that's the highlighter there and again it's a really pretty highlight and I've worn it both ways I've worn it um, over the blush and I've worn it um, just as a highlight so it's very pretty okay my friends that was it that's what I got during the Sephora VIB sale so um, I am going back on my no buy my spending on makeup is officially over so I'm getting back on the no buy and sticking with it and because I don't plan on making any more purchases for makeup wise skincare wise until um, maybe during the Nove the Nordstrom friends and family sale which happens what in July possibly maybe if not then definitely in November for Cyber Monday Black Friday and the Sephora VIB sale anyway so this should be it as far as hauls of products that I have purchased you're still going to be seeing some PR hauls because I do have some more stuff that's coming in uh, to be trying out and to review and I'll, if there is anything on here that I showed that you would like to have a more in-depth in, uh, review of, just let me know down in the comments. I'd be more than glad to do that. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure that you have subscribed and that you have clicked onto that little bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.